Biology Paper, Paper 4, Theory Extended 061042, February, March 2019 First question is, the kidney is one of the main excretory organ of the body. A. Define the term excretion. Excretion is the removal of toxic materials, the waste products of metabolism and substances in excess of requirements from the body of an organism. Question 1 Subquestion B One of the roles of the kidneys is to filter blood. Figure 1.1 shows a section of a kidney. State the name of the parts label A, B and C on figure 1.1. In the given figure, part A in the middle is medulla and surrounding it part B is cortex. Now to label C, we should be able to identify whether it is renal artery or renal vein. The one which is entering is renal artery, it will carry impure blood containing waste products. Part labeled C is renal vein. It carries with it blood containing useful molecules and water but cleared of waste. It now returns back to circulation. So part labeled C is renal vein. Sub question C of question 1. Table 1.1 shows the concentration of four solutes in the blood, in renal artery, in the fluid in kidney tubule, in urine. Four solutes are glucose, protein, salts and urea. Now the question is to calculate the percentage increase in concentration of urea between the blood in the renal artery and the urine. Concentration of urea in blood in renal artery is 0.2 gram per dm cube and that in the urine is 20 gram per dm cube. So increase in concentration of urea is 20 minus 0.2 that is 19.8 gram per dm cube. But we have to calculate percentage increase. So percentage increase in concentration of urea is equal to 19.8 that is increase into 100 divided by original concentration that is 0.2 so this on further calculation gives us the value 9900 percent is the increase in concentration of urea in next question we are asked to describe the results for concentration of salts shown in table 1.1 1 .1. concentration of salts in blood in renal artery is 8 and that in fluid in kidney tubules is also 8 gram per dm cube. That in urine is 16.5 gram per dm cube which is almost double of the concentration in other two. So we have we can write concentration of salts is same in blood in the renal artery and in the fluid in the kidney tubule. Concentration of salts in urine increases and is approximately double the concentration of salts in blood in the renal artery and in the fluid in the kidney tubule. Next question. State the reason for the difference in the concentration of protein between blood in the renal artery and the fluid in the kidney tubule. We can see concentration of proteins in blood in the renal artery is 83 gram per dm cube and that in the fluid in the kidney tubule is 0 and the reason is protein molecules are too big to be filtered. Next question, state the reason for difference in the concentration of glucose between the fluid in the kidney tubule and the urine. We can observe from table that concentration of glucose in fluid in the kidney tubule is 0.9 gram per dm cube whereas it is 0 in urine. The reason for this is all glucose is reabsorbed. Sub question D. Dialysis is a treatment used for people with kidney failure. Some people with kidney failure are given a kidney transplant. State the advantages of having a kidney transplant instead of dialysis. A kidney machine takes patient's blood, cleans it and returns the blood to the circulation. This process is called dialysis. And kidney transplant involves surgically transferring a healthy kidney from one person to the person with kidney failure. Advantages of kidney transplant over dialysis are these. In long term, a transplant is much cheaper. Second, patient's life is less disrupted once they have recovered from operation. 
थर्ड इम्प्रूव्ड क्वालिटी लाइफ फोर्थ नो रेस्ट्रिक्टेड डाइट फिफ्थ टाइम नॉट टेकन अप फॉर डायलिसिस सिक्स किडनी ट्रांसप्लांट इज अ वन टाइम ट्रीटमेंट सब क्वेश्चन ए ऑफ क्वेश्चन टू फिगर टू पॉइंट वन शो सम फ्लावर्स ऑफ स्नैप ड्रैगन प्लांट एंटीहिरम मर्जिस स्नैप ड्रैगन सा इंसेक्ट पॉलिनेटेड प्लांट क्वेश्चन वन इज स्टेट वन फीचर विजिबल इन फिगर टू पॉइंट वन दैट सजेस्ट दीज फ्लावर्स आर इंसेक्ट पॉलिनेटेड प्रेजेंस ऑफ लार्ज पेटल्स इंडिकेट्स दैट दीज फ्लावर्स आर इंसेक्ट पॉलिनेटेड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्टेट हाउ सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन डिफर्स फ्रॉम क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन इज विद इन द सेम प्लांट और फ्लावर क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन इज बिटवीन फ्लावर्स ऑफ द सेम स्पीशीज बट ऑन डिफरेंट प्लांट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सजेस्ट वाई सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन माइट बी एडवांटेजेस टू पॉपुलेशन ऑफ प्लांट्स सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन इज एडवांटेजेस फॉर फॉलोइंग रीजन्स इट इनेबल्स सर्वाइवल ऑफ स्पीशीज मोर चांसेस ऑफ पॉलिनेशन मोर चांसेस ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन नो नीड फॉर पॉलिनेटर्स लाइक विंड इंसेक्ट एसेक्ट्रा यूजफुल वेन प्लांट्स आर जोग्राफिकली आइसोलेटेड पेरेंट प्लांट्स आर अडेप्टेड टू द एनवायरमेंट एंड पास द एलिड्स टू द ऑपस्प्रिंग नेक्स्ट इज सब क्वेश्चन बी पेटल कलर इन फ्लावर्स ऑफ स्नैप ड्रैगन प्लांट शो को डोमिनेंस द जीन फॉर पेटल कलर हैज टू को डोमिनेंट एलिड्स सी आर फॉर रेड पेटल्स सी डब्ल्यू फॉर वाइट पेटल्स टेबल टू पॉइंट वन शोज द जीनो टाइप्स एंड फिनो टाइप्स ऑफ स्नैप ड्रैगन प्लांट विथ डिफरेंट पेटल कलर्स फ्रॉम द टेबल वी कैन ऑब्जर्व इन फर्स्ट कंडीशन होमोजाइगस सी आर सी आर कलर रेड इज एक्सप्रेस इन द पेटल्स and in second one cw cw homozygous for white allele color of petals will be white in third row cr cw two alleles are there heterozygous condition both are expressed equally your none is dominant over other cr for red color cw for white color and the color of petals in your is pink both colors white and red are expressed so the term codominance means when multiple alleles are present for one trait both alleles are expressed neither allele is dominant or recessive to other and the phenotype of heterozygote is intermediate as in the given example color of heterozygote here is pink which is intermediate of red and white one more example of codominance can be seen in blood groups where blood group abo has three alleles a b and o ab are codominant and expressed when both are present and the blood group will be ab but both a and b are dominant over o that is o is recessive next question a botanist cross two snapdragon plants with pink flowers Complete a genetic diagram to show ratio of the expected phenotypes in the offspring. Parental phenotypes are pink flower is crossed with pink flower. Parental genotypes are heterozygous codominant allele CRCW and CRCW. So gametes produced will be CR, CW, CR and CW. Offspring will have genotypes CRCR. CR CW CR CW and CW CW offspring phenotypes will be red pink pink and white phenotypic ratio will be 1 s to 2 s to 1 next question is the botanist wanted to produce a generation of snapdragons that had all pink flowers state the phenotypes of the parent plants that the botanist would need to cross explain your answer parent phenotypes must be red and white since both are codominant they will express themselves as pink in the next generation and the explanation for this is offspring must inherit cr and w alleles to be heterozygous question number 3 reflexes are simple responses that protect the body Sub question A the letters A to G show components involved in a reflex action 
ए इज स्टिमुलस बी इज मॉटर न्यूरोन सी इज सेंसरी न्यूरोन डी इज रिसेप्टर सेल ई रेस्पॉन्स एफ रिले न्यूरोन एंड जी इज इफेक्टर पुट द लेटर्स इन करेक्ट सीक्वेंस इन्वॉल्व इन रिफ्लेक्स सेक्शन टू हैव बीन डन फॉर यू लेट अस सी व्हाट द करेक्ट ऑर्डर शुड बी स्टिमुलस ए विल बी रिसीव बाय रिसेप्टर सेल्स डी इट विल बी पिक्ड अप बाय सी सेंसरी न्यूरोन passed on to f relay neuron then to motor neuron b and then to effector organ or gland g which will provide response e correct sequence involved in reflex section is a d c f b g e sub question b of question 3 impulses travel along neurons describe how impulses pass from one neuron to another neuron across a synapse The synapse is the junction between end plate of one neuron and the dendrite of next. An impulse arrives at the synapse. At the end plate are tiny vesicles containing a chemical neurotransmitter. The chemical is released into the gap. The chemical diffuses across the gap and impulse restarts. On the other side when the neurotransmitter binds to the correct receptor molecule. Sub question C of question three: Drugs such as heroin affect the nervous system. When users stop taking heroin, they may experience withdrawal symptoms. Outline short-term effects of heroin on the body. First, it acts like a depressant and particularly targets the brain. Second, slows down impulses and increases reaction time. Third, it has effect on synapses. by interacting with receptors normally sensitive to natural transmitters fourth loss of self control fifth mental function is affected state two withdrawal symptoms that heroin users may experience some of the withdrawal symptoms that heroin users may experience are vomiting trembling sweating profusely severe abdominal pain next question suggest why heroin abuse may increase criminal activity person may become dependent on the drug and resort to crime to finance their habit question 4 pollution is the harm done to the environment by release of substances from human activities table 4.1 shows names of some pollutants their sources and their effects on the environment complete the table 4.1 in first row we have effect on the environment acid rain and we have to name pollutant and source so pollutant is sulfur dioxide and source is burning of fossil fuels second row we have pollutant carbon dioxide and effect enhance greenhouse effect and the source will be again burning of fossil fuels in third row we have source cattle and rice farming effect on environment is enhanced greenhouse effect and the pollutant will be methane and fourth row is complete fertilizer is the pollutant source is crop farming and effect on environment is eutrophication sub question 1 of question 4 describe and explain what happens in leaks when eutrophication occurs the steps leading to eutrophication are first leaching of soluble fertilizers like nitrates and phosphates into rivers lakes and streams second produces and green algae use the nutrients to multiply and rapidly leading to algal bloom third death of producers produces large quantities of organic material fourth leads to increase in decomposition and number of decomposers fifth point aerobic organisms or decomposers mainly bacteria multiply and consume lot of oxygen six point organisms fish creature etc die or suffocate or migrate due to lack of oxygen next question suggest ways in which a farmer could reduce chances of eutrophication occurring when applying fertilizer to crops a farmer can do this by following ways first by using less fertilizers 
second by using correct amount of fertilizers by calculating how much is needed third use of slow release fertilizers fourth apply only when crops will take up fertilizers that is when they are growing fifth limit watering six do not apply fertilizer during rainy season or after rain fifth question scientist investigated the effect of cuticle thickness on water loss from leaves of balsam fir tree abies balsamia the leaves were divided into three groups a thick cuticle b medium cuticle c thin cuticle samples of leaves from each group were weighed the leaves were placed on a tray in dry air at 20 degrees celsius the samples of leaves were reweighed at intervals over 15 hours the scientists calculated the mass of each sample of leaves as a percentage of the initial mass we are given a graph showing time on x axis and on y axis mass of leaves as a percentage of the initial mass we can observe all three leaves initially have 100% of the original mass initially mass starts decreasing rapidly and then it slows down let us compare their final masses a has more than 80% mass remaining b has nearly 80 and c has less than 80% of the original mass remaining let us now explain the results leaf a with thick cuticle has lost least amount of mass or water leaf c with thin cuticle has lost most mass of water leaf b with medium cuticle has lost more mass of water than a and less mass of water than c loss of mass is due to loss of water and loss of water or mass is fastest initially and then it slows down next question the investigation was repeated on a day when the air humidity was higher suggest and explain the effect that this would have on the results first there will be less loss of water or mass from leaves a b and c same pattern of results as the first experiment will be obtained due to increase in water concentration in the air there will be less diffusion of water vapor and transpiration will be reduced sub question b the leaves of pine trees show xerophytic features stems and roots also show xerophytic adaptations state one adaptation of stem and one adaptation of root in xerophytes stem is swollen and roots are widespread or extensive these are the adaptations of roots and stem in xerophytes sub question c water is one of the raw materials needed for the production of sugars in photosynthesis state the name of other raw material needed for photosynthesis and the answer is carbon dioxide second sub question state three ways a plant uses sugars produced in photosynthesis plant uses sugars produced in photosynthesis in following ways first for respiration second for production of proteins fats nucleic acids etc third for growth of plant parts and in the formation of cell wall cell membrane and cytoplasm etc sixth question figure 6.1 is a diagram of a virus that causes measles a sub question state the name of parts of the virus shown in the figure 6.1 label x and y x is a protein code and y is genetic material next question bacteria belong to prokaryote kingdom state two ways in which structure of bacteria differs from the structure of viruses and the answer is the genetic material in bacteria is strand of dna whereas in viruses it can be dna or rna second bacteria have a cell wall and cell membrane whereas viruses have a protein coat additionally bacteria may have a capsule flagella ribosome plasmids etc let us do 6b now viruses and some bacteria are pathogenic disease caused by pathogens are transmissible first question state two ways that a pathogen can be transmitted indirectly first by eating contaminated food or drinking contaminated water 
second by touching or coming in contact with contaminated surfaces or animals etc next question the body has barriers to defend itself against pathogens state two mechanical barriers of the body first outer layer of the skin the epidermis protects against entry of pathogens second ears are protected by bactericidal ear bags bactericidal means which kills germs or bacteria sub question c some white blood cells produce antibodies as a part of the body's defense against pathogens describe the role of antibodies in defense of the body pathogens have specific antigen on their surface each different antigen stimulates the production of a particular type of antibody that will destroy the antigen antibodies are made by white blood cells called lymphocytes antibodies lock onto the antigen or pathogen and destroy it pathogens labeled by antibodies may be destroyed by sticking together in clumps so that they can be ingested by phagocytes question 60 the immunity gain after infection by a pathogen is active immunity explain how active immunity differs from passive immunity active immunity individual makes his or her own antibodies this gives long term even lifelong immunity because there are now memory cells which retain the ability to produce antibodies whereas in passive immunity individual is given ready made antibodies this only gives short term immunity because no memory cells are produced